Okay, doke. Uh, so the next thing to do is let's hear that. I'm going to change the tempo. I mean the time signature to four eight, so we can hear this count from the metronome. <laughs> Like that. Let's just hear that. Metronome's on. Lower that guitar a bit. Right, here we go. Okay, so you can hear the playing is not lined up with the metronome, but it does resolve as an 8 bar loop. And the issue is, uh, if we go in, I'll put this back into 4-4. Four, four. If we go in and look, let's look at the beginning of bar 2. OK, that's the transient attack for the second bar of playing. If I hold down pause and then play, listen. Right, and it's behind bar 2. All right. So the next thing we need to do is start putting in transient markers. So let's, because uh, we want to line that starting bar of playing up with the beginning of bar 2 and then when we get to this bit the beginning of bar 3 that's the attack transient for the beginning of bar 3 listen which is behind bar 3 but as we work further down the line let's say 4 uh, or the beginning of the fifth bar look that's the attack transient it's still behind bar 5 Go to bar 6, that's the attack transient for bar 6, but it's getting closer to bar 6. That's the attack transient for the beginning of the playing of bar 7, which is about there. Oh, listen. And that's much less behind bar 7. So as we get further down this 8 bar loop, the beginning attack transient of each bar of playing is getting closer and closer towards the bar marker. Right, there's the 8th bar, and it's actually ahead now. So the loop's slightly speeding up across the eight bars, it appears, right? Okay, so uh, let's start putting in those transient markers at the beginning of each bar of playing. So we'll go into the beginning of second bar. And first of all, we've got to activate flex, which we can do here, or from the view menu, or obviously assign a key command, which I haven't done, so I'll activate flex. I'm going to put it into a monophonic mode. Now, we're not going to use any quantizing for this, OK? So, let's whack in that transient at the beginning of that bar of playing. Just there, we'll put that transient in as a flex marker. Just zoom in. OK, there's the beginning of bar 2 and there's the actual playing. Now, there's some... We're doing this rough at the moment because, as you can see, if I put this into samples and then I hold down Alt, I can move that flex marker around at sample resolution without affecting the audio. Now, that could be the beginning, or that where Logic placed the uh, transient marker could be the beginning, or you could make that the beginning there. So at the moment we're just doing it rough. All right, I'm going to choose. Well, I'll leave it with what Logic chose there. Now, put it into beat and just snap it to the beginning of bar 2 with snap to absolute value must be selected right so here we go snap it to the beginning of bar 2 and that's had the effect of slightly compressing the first bar everything after it is stretched okay so let's go to bar 3 there we are zoom in there's a transient marker there at the beginning of that bar of play and just to show you that is that bar of play I shall just pause and play. Here we go. Right, so activate that marker, turn it into a flex marker, and then snap it to the beginning of bar three. All right, let's go along to the fourth bar. Hmm, now oh, that would appear to be the beginning. Let's just hear it. I mean, that's where the major transient is, right? Let's hear that. But it isn't. This is a flurry like do 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 do, and that's the beginning, more like there, right? Let's hear that. Yep. So we're doing this rough, remember? So put this to samples. It's somewhere there, the beginning, isn't it? Let's hear that. Right. Let's just pause and play. Yep, so I'll activate that marker and put it into beat or division and I'll snap that to the beginning of bar 4. 
Right, let's go along to the beginning of bar five. That would appear to be the attack transient there. Let's hear it. <coughs> yep, so with this in samples, turn that transient marker into a flex marker. Let's just zoom in on it a bit. Hang on. Just have a look at it. Yeah, that'll do. So put it into beat and snap that to the beginning of bar five. Next, we move to the beginning of bar six. <coughs> Zoom in. Now, well, it would be is that the attack there? Let's hear that. Or is it more there? Well, that could be either, really, couldn't it? Uh, I will actually, but it's ahead of bar six, you see, whereas the others were behind. So it could be there, or you could put it in that gap. But for now, we're doing it rough. So I'll just activate that transit marker, turn it into a flex marker, and now snap it to the beginning of bar six. Right, let's move on. Beginning of bar seven, that's slightly ahead. You see what I mean? As we get further down the eight bar loop, the, each bar of playing is is getting nearer towards the bar marker, and then they're, now they're starting to be ahead of the bar marker. So that's the beginning of that one. Let's hear it. Yep. So activate that marker. Zoom in. Just check it. Yeah, that'll do. And remember, we're just doing it rough. Snap it to the bar seven. Finally, last bar. Bar eight, somewhere beginning there, isn't it? I have to rush this a bit because of the eight, the ten-minute YouTube thing. Let's say that's the beginning there. Let's just try that. Yep. So I put in a flex marker. Uh, there is one there. It's hidden, but it's kind of hidden by the waveform. But there is one there, so I'll activate it and just drag. I'm going to drag it slightly this way by holding down alt to there right and then snap that to the beginning of bar eight right let's zoom out let's see what we got now put it back into um, four eight so we can hear that metronome tapping along let's hear that now <laughs> Much better, much better than the first time we did it uh, with the eighths uh, metronome playing right. So that's the next stage. We've we've put in the flex markers for the beginning of each bar of playing and snap them. And let me put this back into four four, and we've snapped those transients to the beginning of each bar on the bar and beat marker along the top. And now we've got it's clocking much better to a to a tempo. So we go in and now and fine tweak those because this one sounds like it's slightly being stretched too much and this one's being compressed a little bit too much and I still think it sustains fractionally too long at the end possibly. So let's do a bit of fine tweaking now. <laughs> 